Welcome to Martinsville Speedway for the first race of the Mistcraft Cup Series for the first race of the season. We're here at Martinsville Speedway to kick it off, but this track is also known as the Paperclip. The half mile short track, one of the slowest yet most intense races on the NASCAR circuit. We have 30 drivers ready to take on this race today, see who will be able to win themselves a trophy here in Martinsville. It's been an exciting race, hopefully stick around for it. The STP 400 ready to get going in Martinsville Speedway. Jamie McMurray's on the pole, but other than that, let's see your starting lineup. Row number one, like I said, is Jamie McMurray. Then you have Joey Logano in the 22. Then you have Paul Menard and uh, <laughs> uh, Trex Jr. <laughs> and then you have the rookie Ryan Blaney in, six-time champion of the of NASCAR Spring Cup Series, Jimmy Johnson. Then you have Dale Earnhardt Jr. fan favorite and Kevin Harvick. Then you have Joe Gibbs teammates Denny Hamlin and Matt Kenseth. And then another Joe Gibbs driver, Kyle Busch, alongside uh, um, AJ Allmendinger. And then you have Matt DiBenedetto and Brad Keselowski. Then you have Carl Edwards and Tony Stewart. And then Danica Patrick's behind them with Casey Kane with five. Then you have Clint Boyer and Austin Dillon. And then there's Ricky Sinos Jr. and Chase Elliott. And then you have Greg Biffle and Kurt Busch. Behind them, you have Trevor Bain and Kyle Larson. Row 14 will be Reed Sorensen and David Reagan. And rounding out the field in row 15 is Ryan Newman and Blake Cook. There's your field for today. Here's a race info. 30 cars, like I said. 12 laps in race 1 of the series of the season as well. So uh, hopefully this is going to be a great race today between all these drivers that uh, have been one wanting to go racing here. For quite a while, we've been waiting, but we're going green, and here they come through turns three and four. Joey Logano and Jamie McMurray lead him out of turn four to the green flag. Through turns one and two, Palminar giving the one a little bit of a shove there on the back straightaway. Jamie McMurray's going to be able to clear the field coming into turn number three. Ryan Blaney looked to try and make it three wide, and Menard and Logano there. He did not do that. Here comes Blaney to make a side-by-side -side for the 27 to be able to contain that second spot. And Junior makes it three wide through the middle. And Hamlin's just on the inside saying, what are you doing on the outside? Whoa, there goes the 27 to the 4 into the inside wall. Everyone get a little bit squir squirreled up there. And they're going to keep continue doing that as Stewart gets put in the wall. A couple cars involved in the crash here on lap number three, as it seems. Stewart may have been trying to avoid... Maybe De Benedetto. Maybe they got into the corner a little bit early. Let's see that replay. I don't know what happened here. Oh yeah, it looked like De Benedetto slid up the racetrack a little bit coming in turn three. Yeah, and look at Danica just slide around there in the corner as well. Well, we're gonna restart on lap number five after a caution in the third lap. Twelve laps still in the books that we want to do for this race. But we're back green. Ryan Blaney did not get a good start. He gets shuffled around by the 88, who gets into the back of the one in turn number one. They're both on the wall, coming onto the back straightaway. Three wide still behind them as well. But Joe Gibbs' teammates are going to pull ahead. The 11 and the 18. The one and the 88 pull on a pit road to be able to repair their cars. And the 78 looking out of the inside of Kyle Busch in turn one. He's not going to be able to get to him as Denny Hamlin is clear. On the inside, no one seems to be wanting to make any moves on the leader yet. That is Kyle Busch I'm speaking of. On the front straightaway, Joe Gibbs teammates 1 and 2 for the lead. In turn number 3, Martin Truex Jr. He's looking to try and get around that 18 of Kyle Busch. Here's a good battle between Hendrick teammates Chase Elliott and Jimmy Johnson. And Elliott gets a good run and gets to the inside of Kenseth who's going to be able to not going to be able to hold him off. And here comes Kyle Busch around the inside. And Truex is going to take advantage of that move. He's going to move in a second. Denny Hamlin falls back to fourth. Maybe even fifth. Or sixth. As there's three wide again. Here comes Johnson around the inside of uh, Matt Kenseth. The 18 of Kyle Busch is the leader. And he, and he gets around to the inside of Dale Hart Jr. To be able to lap him after that small incident off the restart. Truex now goes down to the inside of the 88 car in turn 3. Oh, and they're side by side for the lead. Here comes Truex on the inside of Bush. He gets loose out of the corner. Coming back into turn 1, he gets into Bush. Sliding around to the outside wall. We have another caution 
here at Martinsville Speedway. Kyle Busch got spun by the 78, as you can see there. Wow. Looked like something that happened at Michigan in the shootout with between this 20 car and the 19. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to get the lucky dog. But we're going to restart on lap number 12, meaning we're going to have one. Oh, we're going to go one over for our required laps for today's race, or at least our scheduled laps. We're going to have a green white checker, but I don't know if they're called that anymore, so we're just going to call it over time. Who cares? We're going to have a GWC and Trix going to lead them down. And a hole opens up from Matt Kenseth's Toyota, and the 24 cars are able to come come down. Now they're side by side for the second position between Jimmy Johnson and Chase Elliott. Hendrick teammates. Here comes Hamlin out of the inside of Chase Elliott, and the jo and Johnson blocks, but he's gonna be able to keep it blocked on the final lap. Truex got put in the wall at a turn four. J uh, Jimmy Johnson's being squirreled around with the 11 car in a turn three. Out of turn number four, it's Denny Hamlin to win at Martinsville. Denny Hamlin wins at Martinsville by an, an insane battle between he and Jimmy Johnson after Martin Triggs Jr. got put in the wall out of turn two. Here, but here's your point system. So first place gets ten, then second gets seven, then five, then three, then one. And here are your points standings. You got Denny Hamlin or Crazy Cat Gal got 10 points in the 11, and you got 48, the 24, the 21, and the 78, as that seemed. But here's your results. Denny Hamlin won this race. Artrix Jr. had the had the lead on um, the final, coming through the turn one of the final lap, finished fifth. Jamie McMurray, who started in the pole, finished 17th. Kyle Busch finished 19th after that last crash. As he was involved in that. That was a great race, won't you think? Uh, the next race will be coming from Indianapolis, so be stay tuned for that. Anything else that may come as well. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this first race of the NASCAR Miss Crap Cup Series. And congratulations to Denny Hamlin or Crazy Cat Gal for winning today's race. That was an insane last slap battle between he and Jimmy Johnson. But thank you for watching today's race. And hopefully you want to see more of these. Definitely should have about an eight race, eight to nine, ten race season. But subscribe for more races, and I will see you guys at Indy.